Sonics Designs manufactures the world's highest resolution ultrasound and photoacoustic instruments. Our ultrasound goes up to 70 megahertz. Uh, 70 megahertz allows our customers and our users to image structure as small as 20 micron and I think that's a real innovation because it really allows them to visualize structures that cannot be seen on conventional ultrasound and it's extremely useful in, in various areas of their research whether it's cardiovascular or cancer research or drug development or pharmacokinetics. At Fujifilm Visual Sonics, we do have our headquarter in Toronto with our R&D department, and we do have a headquarter in Europe. Visual Sonics has always been uh, an innovator, uh, first with the high-frequency ultrasound, but now with photoacoustics, it's really exciting to have this brand new technology where we're, we're using a hybrid optical ultrasound modality to show things that have never been seen before with depth and with resolution. The innovation is a result of close collaboration with our customers, where research continuously moves forward requiring new equipment, new technologies, and VisualSonics developing new products keeps meeting this continuous demand for the development of launching products. We have the smallest linear arrays, which is a type of transducer that, that makes ultrasound images for medical ultrasound typically. We have linear arrays that have pitches that are substantially smaller than human hairs. Well, it all started at Sunnybrook in the lab of Dr. Stuart Foster. At that time, there was a huge interest, this was in the 1990s, for studying the human genome. And at, at that point, all of these animal models began to be developed. And it was right around that time that Stuart's lab had developed this new and exciting technology, high-frequency ultrasound, that was perfect for imaging these disease models in vivo. Not that long ago, we came together as a group to try to define why we do what we do here at Visual Sonics. So we put all our ideas together into one statement that really defines and captures the essence of what we do here on a day-to-day -day basis. That is, through bold innovation, we empower those dedicated to the advancement of human health. One of the things that I've found going out with this machine on a day-to-day -day basis is the amazing looks and comments and the surprise that people have when they see the images and what the possibilities that lie behind what they're looking at, the looks in their face when they finally realize there are things that they're going to be able to see that they've never seen before. Most of us application scientists at Fujifilm Visual Sonics, we already come from research backgrounds. So we're really used to rolling up our sleeves and working with our customers. And I think we use that creativity and enthusiasm to support our customers with their research. We are so much more than just an ultrasound and photoacoustics company. We have this incredible community of users who are able to share their innovative work and all of their stories through so many different platforms that we offer. As a group, we always push the boundaries to help our customers visualize what they need to see. In addition to designing and developing our product, we also spend a lot of time testing to ensure that our customers have the highest quality product that they receive and that it will work correctly for them at all times. I've attended the WMIC conference a number of times and that's really been my direct experience. It's always exciting to see how our technology is being used in the research community. It's really the researchers that empower our technology to move forward and actually seeing all the publications, the posters, seeing what the new students are doing is really always very exciting and gratifying to see that out in the real world. Last year we had the honour of winning the Innovation of the Year for our Vivo MD product. This is our new clinical product. It was the first time high frequency ultrasound had been taken into human use and actually commercialized. And I think when you look at the overall vision of what WIMIS is trying to do, really taking research from the bench to the bedside ultimately, true translational research. As a company, we feel that we're really well positioned there because we've got a very strong preclinical product line. This is our first example now of moving into the clinical space. And it was just an honor to have Wimic recognize that, that our first clinical innovation was actually recognized and won the award last year. So we're very thankful for that. We want to be a part of a better world, a world where researchers are making strides towards achieving their goals and we take pride in the fact that we actually you know, play a small role in that. Everything we do here is really to 
help our customer in, in their research and innovation is really part of this. You know, whether it's whether people are in the field or in the marketing or, or in R and D, you always hear a question about can we do this? Do you think we can do that? And the answer is always the same, let's try. Why not? Let's try to do it. This is our lab. 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 This is our lab.